to integrate Shopify with Google Merchant Center. Stick around and I'll explain step by step. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Sergei Nishvanao and I'm CEO and founder at Discover My Business. I have been successfully running Google Ads for e-commerce and retail businesses for almost seven years. So let's go to the Merchant Center first. I'll click sign in, send you into the Merchant Center. If you don't have an account, just create one. You'll be redirected to this dashboard, which will ask you uh, to enter all of your information. Uh, if you need a step-by-step -step how to uh, sign up for Merchant Center, there's another video on my channel. I will uh, basically walk you through steps. Uh, so when you sign in to Merchant Center, go back to your Shopify store, click Apps. Uh, this is one of the, our clients using actually two apps. Uh, they are most comfortable to use is Flexify for Facebook and Fit for Google Shopping. So the first way, um, if you have less than a thousand SKUs, there's a free software uh, which is called Flexify. So right now I will show you this particular app. Uh, you click install, install this app, and it's automatically give you a product feed. So the next step will be copy copy this product feed, but before you do this, just go through the steps, only include first variants. So for example, if you're selling uh, t-shirts, uh, red color, blue color with the different sizes, you need to include all variants, then product, use SEO title description. Uh, actually, you see it's not over here, so I'll click on it now. Then go to schedule uh, feed generation, so it will update it daily on what time. My recommendation do this at 1 a.m. your time, 1 or 2 a.m. So when you have a less visitors, less buyers, uh, just do this way. Feed generation time is uh, 2 a.m. And that's it. Click save settings. Right now, uh, it will generate a product feed from your Shopify store. Again, the free version for Flexify is less than a thousand SKUs. And then I believe it's about 50 bucks or something like that. So copy, go to your merchant center, click products, feeds, uh, click plus uh, icon, select the language. In this case, we're English, we only sell in US. Uh, choose destination. Guys, remove a uh, shopping actions if you're not over there. If you need help with the shopping actions, it's kind of like Amazon seller platform for retail stores. I'm happy to help you to set this up. Uh, the next step, so enable this, disable this one, click continue, uh, primary feed name. My recommendation all the time, use client's name or your personal company name, and also use uh, this dash and app name so you kind of will know where this feed coming from, uh, Flexify. And there's the choices. Uh, again, guys, if you know uh, you will have a Google Sheets, you have like a small product feed, use Google Sheets. Um, but we will right now use a schedule fetch. It's basically allow you to enter this URL, which updating every day at 1 or 2 a.m. with the new product feeds. For example, you add new products, it will automatically go to your website and scroll the data to the merchant center, Flexify. Uh, fetch time, again, we'll put We'll put at uh, 1 or 2 a.m., whatever, when Eastern time, file URL, uh, here's this URL, and user uh, username and password, if you guys are custom built website, ask your developers to create a uh, hosted file with the product feed, and they also needs to have user and password, so this is created for that, but for right now, we'll leave it as it is, create feed. And that's it, this feed right now is loading. Sometimes uh, Google not automatically pull up some of the settings out here, as example, currencies. So make sure you click on the feed, then go to settings, then go to default currencies, and make sure you place US dollar. I mean, or whatever locations you are. Because sometimes if you not do this uh, right away, they will disapprove you uh, disapprove your feed because there's no currency on your feed. So that's it. I mean, this one is what's going on with the Flexify. We can actu actually go right now and click Fetch now just to see if this product feed actually will be accepted by Google. It will take, sometimes it take one minute, sometimes if it's new kind, it will take 24 to 48 hours. 
Um, so at this moment, I will probably uh, not waiting and go to another app, uh, which called, actually, maybe, no, it's not working yet. This particular client account has already been running for uh, six months. So they should have something on here by right now. But okay, I will not waste my time and we will go to another way to connect your uh, Shopify with Merchant Center. The app called Fit for Google Shopping. This app is actually free for the, for the 30 days free trial and they, they charge you by how many products and SKUs you have. This is my personal favorite one because uh, first of all, it's allowed you to sync your Shopify right away with all of the SKUs such as t-shirt colors, t-shirt, um, t-shirt colors, t-shirt sizes, all of that will be automatically populated by this app. Uh, highly recommend the price start, I believe at $12 to up to $400, depending again of your Shopify store. So the first thing first, click uh, sync settings from Shopify, then go to uh, notification email, insert this email. It's really important. Click all products a default product title or SEO title. Again, guys, if you're working with SEO, my recommendation will be go to SEO settings. Uh, then go to uh, append for your name or to product title, yes. Inventory policy, follow. Product image options. So if you want to add extra images from your website, we'll leave it as it is. Submit additional image. We'll check it out. Actually, let me check. Uh, submit to each product description. Uh, sometimes yes, sometimes not. So uh, we finish out here. So it is sync. If you have submitted a product for the first time from your app, it will take more than 10 hours. Again, since we're already working with this client for a long time, it will take probably a few minutes. Uh, the next step will be go to integration, manage products. Uh, it's coming back. Let me my face over here uh, go to Google Shopping settings and make sure you enter your primary domain uh, your currency over here and you connect your merchant center how to find your merchant center ID is go to your merchant account and the top right side you will see uh, this ID this ID you copy paste out here verify your website that's it. This is how you integrate with your uh, with with your merchant center. This app. Uh, the next step is Google Shopping Actions. Again, to start working with Google Shopping Actions in your new app, but it's a completely different video. You can go to our channel and check how to do so. Okay, so it will take, as you remember, since we are a new account, it's already out there. It's submitted. So we're going back to our merchant center, go to products, feeds, uh, reload this page, and product feed, which are coming from this app, uh, Sims, Sims Shopify apps, it's called, the feed name will call it content API, uh, API. So click on this one and you will see this automatically populated in all of the platforms. Uh, it's good click diagnostics uh, as, as you see this particular feed updating every every six hours so we need to wait a little bit more let's go back and see what's going on with the flexify awesome so as you see 76 items counted three items were with issues and if we see the issues we need to fix those ones uh, as you see item id what the value is, item ID, what the value is. So by the item ID, you can find and add GTN or UPC or EPC numbers uh, to your uh, Shopify, on your Shopify store. And also you can download a report and to find out what the titles are for those products. That's it. This is how you connect with the two ways you are Shopify with Merchant Center. Again, if you guys have like a store of 10 products or 15 products, my personal opinion to use a spreadsheet uh, you basically go to your google drive and create a spreadsheet and when you click uh, add new product feed check the language continue you just pick google sheets and it's automatically connected to your uh, 
uh, to Google Drive and then you choose the file. This one will give you so much possibilities uh, with uh, keywords, with the product type, Google categories, and you can basically manually manage your campaigns, which will allow you to basically get a lot of more results uh, on the Google Shopping site. So that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe and like the button and I will see you in the next one.